We got lower 90s yesterday. We hit 92 at 4 and at 5 o'clock. And I think similar setup again for today. Right now we're sitting at about 80 degrees this morning with some 70s, lower 70s inland and to the north. Ocala at about 71. Brooksville at 72. But yeah, you're real close to the water. It's in the upper 70s to around 80. The winds are relatively light. Now, winds are going to start to shift over the next couple of days as Hurricane Lee slowly plods its way up the eastern seaboard offshore. It's going to shift our winds to more kind of a northerly direction, northeasterly direction over the next couple of days. That's not a wind direction conducive to getting a bunch of rain around here, unfortunately. We do have dew points in the upper 60s to the mid 70s. I just think today is going to be almost exactly like yesterday, but there will be a few thunderstorms around this afternoon to the tune of about 30 to 40 percent. Ever since Lee, got to that 165 mile per hour range and hit that wind shear, it's been continually struggling and trying to redevelop itself. It is a major hurricane this morning. You obviously have part of the western side of this being exposed, so it's not going to undergo any rapid intensification or anything like that. The computer models, while they're still in agreement, keeping this west of Bermuda, They've been inching a little bit closer to Nova Scotia and New England in general, and you can see all these possible paths. And as a result of this, well, the Hurricane Center had to kind of eh, the path a little bit to the west. So 115 mile per hour storm. As it moves northward, again, the surge, not really the surge, but the waves, the surf, the rip currents, up and down the eastern seaboard, they could be deadly, right? Because it's been sitting out there for days just generating wave action. Now, here is the forecast path, and it does bring this system right into Halifax, Nova Scotia, maybe down east Maine. It will be transitioning from more of a tropical system to an extra tropical system. So it'll be a big storm, but nothing like it was. But this may be an issue for eastern and southeastern New England and again parts of canada and that's really about it though meantime hot and humid an isolated storm we're going to roll it up to 92 again today just look out for a couple of showers this afternoon mild muggy tonight with a low of 78 tomorrow same thing partly cloudy just a few thunderstorms and a high in the lower 90s light chop on the coastal waters for you uh, highest rain chance i got is 40 percent high temperatures next seven days in the lower 90s elise